Let's talk about how to save one of the harder plays in ESHL, and that's the cross crease. A good goalie will be able to bail out his defense and make a quality save on a one-timer. Your ability to make these saves depends greatly on your positioning. Now I'm adding this in here after I've already recorded the original voice for this video. The input delay makes saving cross creases very difficult. You almost have to read the play and guess where the pass is going to go and who's going to shoot it before it happens. It may just be my connection, but that's been my experience. I've had to do a lot of guessing and reading of the play to make the saves. To start, I suggest every time the puck leaves your end, you reset your goalie to the middle and back of your crease, especially this year since the movement is a little different. Once the puck starts coming towards the blue line, you can move up to the necessary spot. This has helped me drastically as I feel that if I don't reset my goalie every time, I lose control of my movement and positioning. Next, on a 2-on-1 or 2-on-0, you don't have to come out and wildly challenge the shooter. You can stay back in your crease a little bit, so that it's easier to move left and right. Line up your shoulder with the puck carrier. You need to check to see what side he shoots from and look where the open man is positioned. Don't cheat and leave early, but get ready to react. You need to know where the open man is because that tells you how far you'll need to slide over if he shoots it. Once the pass is made, you can react with whatever tools necessary. Here I used the right stick slide without holding L2. I found that the diving desperation save, that's left or right on the left stick and square on the PlayStation or X on the Xbox can be effective on backdoor plays where the open man is in tight. You don't have to do a full butter slide on these plays because I don't think you have time, but you can make a quick dive if necessary. The spread eagle also works too, but use whatever you're most comfortable with. If the open man is further away from your net, you cannot make such a committed movement since they have more space to either pass it again or make a move, or they can wait you out to see how you move and then shoot it. However, if you do see them wind up for a one-timer, but then by all means do what you need to do to stop the puck. You have more time to react to the shot since he's further away. You need to be ready for him to make a move on you or carry the puck in close as well, so don't do anything too crazy if you don't see him wind up. Depending on how far away he is, either use the precision movement or a T-push to get squared up. If he's taking a shot, I suggest just a regular butterfly slide with uh, L2 or left trigger and R2 and right trigger. Now I just want to add something quickly about the controls. If you're doing a regular butterfly slide with right trigger and left trigger in the left stick, make sure you move the left stick left or right first before you hit the triggers. If you don't, you're going to drop down into your butterfly and you'll get stuck down there. So you've got to move left or right first. Also. If you're using the right stick, you can move it down into the right diagonally or down into the left and you will slide diagonally. I hope this helps you guys remember that it starts with your positioning and your depth. If you're too far out of your net, you're going to get beat on a cross crease. Stay a little deeper, stay in control and react when you need to. Be careful because the puck carrier may wait you out and take a shot instead of passing it. That's a very popular move, especially if he thinks you're going to cheat over. So you need to wait until he passes. The shot is still your first priority, but if he happens to pass it, then you can try and react. Thanks for watching, guys. If I helped you out, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you're looking for more tips on goalie, be sure to subscribe. I'll be putting out more videos soon. See you later.